Hey people, uh, it's a rainy day here in Hong Kong today. I'm sorry I wasn't able to stream earlier. Actually, in case you haven't noticed, both of my eyes kind of look different. Well, one of my eyes looks different today. Uh, I have this weird eye infection. Uh, it's weird. Yeah, so I had to get that looked after this morning. So wasn't around. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay. It's super cold in Hong Kong right now, like super cold. I'm wearing like my down jacket again, as you can clearly see. It's just a bit of a biatch going out with the umbrella, but hey, what needs what needs to be done needs to be done. So, okay, let me just get out of this person's way. So you know, yesterday, right? Um, I was supposed to be doing a live stream at night, kind of like is like an alpha testing, but then it didn't happen um, because of some stuff on my computer. So I was going to share with you some of the ghost stories that I heard yesterday, um, which is not exactly the highlight. The highlight wasn't so much the ghost stories itself is, is so I thought it's actually just hold on. Let me turn my camera. Uh, 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 I can't do this holding a camera. We're holding an umbrella and trying to operate my phone. There we go. Okay. Where's the Wally mask? I know. It is. It so is. So yesterday, what happened was that um, I was posting a, um, uh, a ghost story sharing with some people um, on another platform. It's called uh, it's called Clubhouse. And it's a Cantonese only platform that I was doing yesterday. So, uh, because some of the people, it rained a lot. Yeah. So we shared some ghost stories and some, some from personal experience, uh, some paramedics who had to go pick up people's uh, dead bodies that have been absolutely shattered after they jump off buildings. So a lot of stuff. Okay. Wait, you guys, is my microphone, is my microphone making funny sounds like swiping against my jacket? If it is, let me know, okay? And so anyway, so the stories were were scary, but you know what's actually the scariest part for my for the for the chat room that I was in? That when we when we talk about ghost stories, uh, ghosts or spirits are actually interested in listening to what, what it is that we have to say. I start to believe that there's an element of that that's true. It's fine. Okay, let me know if it's starting to wipe against my jacket, which it sometimes does, and I don't even realize it. So I think uh, I'm not a particular like superstitious person, but it was kind of creepy because yesterday. Um, so what happens if you guys are ever on Clubhouse? Then you know that what happens is that is the moderator you actually in, invite speakers to come in and so people get people get dragged onto stage as the speaker uh, along with the moderators and they uh, when i was sharing my ghost story about um the the first place that i went to in hong kong that i went to many many years ago 13 people all came on the chat room at the same time there's 13 of them. I didn't see it. Some other girl did. And she took a screen capture of it. So 13 people using different names. So what looked like different profiles owned by different people. But here's a catch. All 13 of these profiles did not only come on at the same time. They actually use the exact same profile picture, except for it's fragmented. So one profile would have one fragment of the main picture and another profile would have another fragment of the main picture. So it's like a guy in a suit and one picture would have a picture of his tie. One picture would have a picture of his face mask. One picture would have a picture of his arm. So it's all chopped up in 13 different accounts. And just the number itself, I was like, wow, of all the numbers, 13. Now that's, that's awesome. And then 
when I invited one of those 13 people to come on and talk, the other 12 people all disappeared at the same time. And again, I didn't see it. Someone else saw it. And, and then when it was that guy's turn to talk, nobody said anything. He just hung up. So he waited around, but he just didn't say anything. So I was like, who the hell is this person, right? That was what happened on the live stream yesterday. So my advice is, yeah, don't, 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 don't talk about ghost stories online. If you don't want to warn unwanted attention, I think that's probably what we got. But that was so creepy. And I didn't know because the girl was too scared to tell me. It's not until the end of my live stream that she told me. And I was like screaming. I was like, holy shit. Do I believe in ghost cats? Ah. Do I believe in ghost cats? Maybe. Okay, wait, just hold on. I need some vegetables. I need vegetables. Sorry, you guys are doing my grocery shopping with me? No. Okay, having to hold an umbrella while doing a live stream is like mission impossible. Wow, you guys, these are my favorite vegetables, the pea shoots. Hi, Ang. Not. Not. Okay. There we go. Wow, I got a lot of vegetables. Holy crap. I hate going out when it's raining. It's a total mess. Hold on. Let me just get out of here. Just get out of here. But that was really scary. James, what do you think? I think that is absolutely horrifying. I'm like, who the heck are these people? And why were they on my live stream? Like, if you know what I mean. Like, either it's a prank or it's a glitch, or you could say they're bots, but the timing is just too impeccable. I just find that absolutely horrifying. Oh, Chinese New Year's coming. Rice cakes in the shape of a fish. See what kind of stuff they got. Whoa, so slippery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm so scared. Rain causes a lot of annoying stuff. Yes, completely agree. Let's see what kind of stuff they have that the kitties might like. Nothing. Nothing that looks nearly appeasing. Hmm. Am I too late? Am I too late? Wow, look at these. <gasps> you guys, are these king crabs? Oh my god, I want to free them back in the ocean. Okay, I can't stay here. I can't look at this no more. I can't do this. Oh, these fishies. See, the funny thing is, I'm not a vegetarian. I just don't like seeing the animals get killed. So when I go to the the market, I always just stay around at the vegetable section. Oh, Brussels sprouts. Oh, Brussels sprouts are quite nice. Should I get some Brussels sprouts? You never ate fish, really? Are you serious now? There's spinach. I should get some spinach. Baby spinach or Brussels sprouts? What should I get? Hey, Benjamin, you watched my interview with Edmund Poon? Oh my God. Yeah. It's, they, they reacted pretty fast. They found my story really fast. Okay, wait, you guys are gonna go grocery shopping with me. I didn't know that you're a big fan of his. 
My parents were hippies, really? Yep. Yeah, I like going to a wet market because the things are just more fresh. What's that? Is that yams? Oh, lily bulbs. Uh, where's the person? I have no idea who to go to if I want anything. I'm just waiting here forever. She's completely ignoring me. Uh, I'm gonna get some Brussels sprouts. She's still working at those lily bulbs. That's weird. Should I? Okay, you guys. Should I get spinach or should I get Brussels sprouts? Not are you a heavy liar? Damn, I have no idea where I get my stuff. You your prices? Ma? Yeah. She's asking me, is it my birthday? I have no idea how to answer her. Uh, uh, you okay. 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 Wow. See, fishing at the fishing, shopping at the at the at the market. Like sometimes you just have to yell over them. This is in Hong Kong, Mr. Physics. New Year's prices. They got a bad atom. I'm a yin gum, no, that wall. Okay, never mind. It's a bad a yin gum. Cash only. Nice. I love veggies. Guy. What is that big white thing? Um, that's radish. Oh, that, those are mushrooms. Those are the Japanese mushrooms. Wow, I'm really stocked up on vegetables now. I love veggies. Love it. And Liam, yeah, I hate it when it rains outside. It's not really raining that hard right now. So I don't mind a little drizzle. It's kind of a bitch just holding on to um, on to all the new year goodies are out holding onto my umbrella jeez so how's you guys um you know i was i was really actually really surprised yeah. to hear some of these stories yesterday that these people share um did you want to hear one of the stories that i heard yesterday um i think it's not like really scary but it was enough it was enough to scare me when I was listening to it because it's, it's like a true story that's from like a paramedic, I think. Do you guys want to hear it? Oops. This guy can uh, go a little bit looser on his suit. Looks like it's too tight for him. Is he holding in his breath? So yeah, um, so the story that I heard yesterday, so it was a paramedic, all right? And he said somebody was, uh, some, somebody committed suicide by jumping off a building. And uh, what happens, wait, when, wait, before I start, when you guys are watching my stream, when I'm taking footsteps right now, do you see the camera going up and down? Like it's a stabilizer doing its job or do you look, do you see things going bop, bop, bop? Up and down when I'm walking. I'm not checking them out, trust me. Should be talking about this stuff. Who is that? 
suddenly Lao Lao should be, should you be talking about this stuff? I'll talk about it before the New Year's. It's not Chinese New Year's yet. So I technically speaking, I still can talk about it. Uh, but thanks for the reminder though. Um, so yeah, so the guy, that's what he does for a living. He's a paramedic. And he said this one time that somebody jumped off a building and he can feel that that person's spirit is still where he was standing because he said he could actually hear a voice, but that voice doesn't, he doesn't hear it with his ears. It's like, you could just feel the voice. And when he was like picking up like the remains of that person, he said, we just like splatter like everywhere, right? And he said, he can actually feel like that person still being there. And he was making comments about how, uh, how people should not commit suicide though. But um, that when they do, like sometimes they just kind of linger around there and they just keep revolving around in that negative emotion that they're trapped in. Pretty much it stays there forever. I'm like, oh, that's really sad. No, of course not. They just say that. Of course not. Benjamin, no, uh, that's, that's the answer. Sometimes they say that it's just a gesture, but I wasn't, I wasn't really taking them seriously anyway. Hey, legendary cartoon cat ghost. You haven't really noticed? Like, is the gimbal, like, is it stable? Like, when you're looking at the, when I'm walking, like, up and, like, with my footsteps? Because it was doing it on my previous videos before, which is kind of annoying. And I don't know why I was doing that. Ooh, Japanese snacks. Ooh, should I stock up on some snacks? Oh, I should. Okay, I'll do that after I get my coffee. See what I'm gonna get. Normal temperature. Starbucks. Hi. So I'm just gonna put my stuff here so I don't have to hold my groceries. Just gonna sit down and enjoy just a little bit of coffee first. I feel that I'm still not quite me without coffee. Oh, that actually looks really good. Oh, it's Valentine's Day coming up, you guys. Uh, oh, latte macchiato. Hi. Um, oh, latte macchiato. What is oat latte? Oh, so my oat latte macchiato is in my Huh. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, there's no uh, video right now. I'm just trying to get my Starbucks card. free drink. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I got a free drink. That's on my phone. Thank you. All right. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. So I'm just grabbing my Starbucks because I, um, you know, uh, I think it was last week or, or something like that. Do you guys remember me going into a Starbucks and um, and I got a, this bento that doesn't taste that good? And it turned out that bento expired. It's kind of gross. She go to the big hotels, funeral halls and hang out there overnight, especially the stairways and corridors. Um, why, why should I? Why? Why? <laughs> Why should I hang out at a funeral home? That's that's just that's just dumb shit. Why would I want to do that? So the answer is no. 
Yep, this is Starbucks. Starbucks it is. Oh, that's my oat. That's my oat latte. Um, I'm getting it with half milk. I hate all oat coffee. Thank you. Got. Ah, got. Um, Thank you. Oh, cool. These lids. It's designed in the way. Yeah, I said I'll never. Yeah, I said I'll never go back to Starbucks. But then the thing is, right? Um, they refunded the the money on my bento, um, back onto my card. So I have to spend it before it expires. So yes, I'm never. You're right. I'm never going back to Starbucks. Um, I don't want to experience the ghost. That is not the intention of my channel. Um, the reason why I go urban exploration is because I like to see vintage things, not because I want to look for paranormals. Just so that you know. Okay. That's my where's the Waldo? Where's the Waldo um, face mask? Wait, I'm going to get some tissues. There we go. See, I like these lids a lot. It's basically designed in a way that you don't have to use a straw if you don't want to. Ta-da! The lighting is rather weird today, isn't it? Kind of weird. Ah, ah, the lid is so hard to open. Ah, yikes. So, in case you guys haven't realized, I have like an eye infection in one of my eyes. And... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is actually quite good. And it's weird. So now one of my eyes is funny, in case you haven't noticed. And I went, to, oh, there's a cat. Um, hey, Rancid Jr., what up? Yeah, so I decided uh, to go see the doctor this afternoon. So that's why I wasn't streaming this afternoon. Mm. And, oh, yeah, another story that I heard. Actually, my sister came on yesterday. And she was sharing like one of the stories that she had when she was in the hospital. Um, and I didn't even know about it. Like actually, I, I guess I'm, I must have been in Hong Kong at the time. Hey, Nathaniel, what up? What up? Um, yeah, so uh, what was I gonna say? So she was at the hospital and at the end of the hallway is a washroom. So my grandma ended up in the hospital a few years back. And what happens was that my sister went to the bathroom and there's no, like, it's just a straight hallway. So there's no exit sign you can actually go outside in. Uh, and so it's just basically like rooms or lavatories or whatever on the left and right. The girl behind me looks like the girls from Ring. Really? Oh, geez. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, so she was going to the bathroom and when she was inside, like when she was doing her business, She can actually hear people coming in. So there's these aunties like, oh, yeah, you go first. You know, I'm just going to put on my makeup. I'm going to wash my hands. Um, blah, 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 right? And she can hear these people coming into the washroom. And um, and then what happened was that um, she was doing her business, but she was in there first. So, of course, she's going to finish before these people. But when she came out and washed her hands, she realized all the stalls around her, the doors were open, but there was like nobody inside. And, and so my sister was like really calm and she like finished washing her hands. She opened the door and as she ran outside and look, there's nobody in the hallway. Because as you, I, I said in the beginning, right, it's like a really long hallway. And even if you're to run away from run away from that bathroom, it'll take a while because it's a really long hallway. Um, so there's nobody. It's like, where did all that noise come from? Where were all these people that's in her stall, in her bathroom, near in the stalls near her? Mm -mm. 
Do you know the Jungkook ghost story? No, I don't know what that is. How much you miss going to the shops and cafes? You're in Europe in lockdown since November. Yeah, it's, is it like a strict lockdown, you guys? Say it 13, say what 13 times? See what comes out of my screen. You guys gotta be more specific here. Mm. Wow, this is very young. Her face was blurred. Yeah, her face was blurred. Why was her face blurred? I don't know. Is there some sort of filter that's on my that's on my phone that actually blurs out her face? I don't know. I don't I, I don't know how you guys actually notice these things, but that's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Uh, was it? I was I, actually. Um, was it? I was. Um, so I, I was in the same chat room. We were there for like two and a half hours yesterday, and um, there there was another one. Uh, what is it? There was another one that somebody said. It was actually also pretty good. It was quite remarkable. Oh, yeah. Um, so um, somebody actually works uh, like um, like uh, uh, in, um, in the urn industry. So they make urns, obviously. And they were delivering it to the different places that takes care of funeral business, if that actually makes sense. So I think one of the guys actually delivered something wrong. So inside the batch that he was supposed to deliver. So for example, he's delivering to a few places. Each of them have their own portion of urns that they had to, that they, that they needed delivered with. Um, uh, so, and he, and that delivery person made the mistake of, delivering another person's urn or another empty urn that was with this grandma's. So he went back and he actually had to, to, to retrieve the urn that he delivered by accident. And when he went back to the elevator, he wanted to go to the fourth floor, but he was going from the second floor. He kept pressing the button for the fourth floor. It wouldn't take him there. It kept stopping on the second floor. So it went back up, it went back down without stopping on the fourth floor. And it happened many times, he's like, what the hell is going on, right? So he intuitively thought, oh, maybe the grandma who had the urn accidentally, the extra urn that's accidentally delivered to her, thought that belonged to her too. So grandma probably didn't want him to go to the fourth floor, thinking that he's taking her stuff and delivering it to other people. So he said, um, he said, he actually said out loud, he said, hey, grandma, that's not your stuff. Your stuff is already delivered to you. This is somebody else's. After he said it, the elevator took him straight to the fourth floor where he's supposed to be. Coincidence? I don't know. Supernaturals? Maybe. Was grandma mistaken? Probably. Um, let's see. So your window moved on its own. You thought it was wind, but didn't feel the wind. Plus, your window is a sliding window. So when it moved, you quickly ran to the room. Ah, yikes! I hope you don't live alone because that'd be pretty scary. Which is the most haunted place in South Korea? I wouldn't know. I'm not from South Korea. What only takeaways from restaurant? Only essential shops are open. Funny thing is, marijuana, marijuana shops are still open and, and and for a way and considered as essential. Okay, so I guess during COVID, marijuana is important. Um, Chinese traditions say don't turn to look. You blow out the three flames that protect you from being possessed. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! That sucks. Oh, and I want to take this opportunity to thank to say thank you once again to you guys uh, that's been joining my Patreon. Um, I saw that there's actually a few new Patreons actually uh, on this month. Nathaniel, you're actually probably the latest one on here. Um, 
Thank you for joining. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. Um, but it is, it has been causing some problems lately because when, uh, when people try to up their pledge on uh, Patreon, I think they're having some sort of technical glitch or something. Um, and they, and I've had a couple of you write to me saying, hey, why does it cause problems? I don't know. I'm going to bitch at Patreon tonight. You just got rid of a creepy girl. Oh, jeez. Where am I? I am in Hong Kong right now. I am in Hong Kong in a Starbucks with questionable lighting. Yeah, yeah I know. It was, it was a blurry face. I remember. It was a blurry face. That's so weird. If it's your ex, you can have her, all yours, buddy. All righty. So, you know, talking about scary stories at night when you live alone. Oh, my God. Good Lord. Yeah, that was really freaky. I couldn't really sleep last night. Yeah, I got, I, I got a bit creeped out. Oh, I bought this, by the way. I got this from Taiwan a while back. It's for me to hang on to my drinks. Okay, so I'm going to put my face mask back on. You guys are going to go on a little bit of additional shopping with me. Where did my face mask go? Oh, it's here. What do you guys think about this face mask, by the way? Does it really look like where's the logo? It looks, does it look like Worst the Waldo or Worst the Wally? All right, let's do this. Let's see how to make this work. I wonder if I still need the umbrella. It's always like that. When I bring the umbrella, it stops raining. Take my own Kleenex. Take my own gimbal. Was her face still blurry? I hope not. But I did. It looks like the Malaysia flag. Really? Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, you're right. It kind of does. Okay. Okay. Hold everything with one arm. And also at night, if you smell something fragrant or hear something, don't say anything or look to see what it is. It could be a ghost tempting me. Oh, I actually made that mistake, you guys. When I was, uh, when I was, when I was in Malaysia and going urban exploration with the guys, I didn't realize, right? I smelled something really foul, but I was the only person who actually smelled it. Yeah, and I actually blurted it. I actually blurted out. Hey, I'm just looking for snacks. Hello. So many snacks here, you guys. Oh, this place is like full of snacks. Oh, that looks really good, but I don't want any of this. Okay. All right. But it's weird. It seems like, you know, a lot of the uh, rules for the Chinese superstition, I actually don't know jack shit about. So I'm kind of learning as I go. I hope nothing bad happens to me. Shit. Looks like when a prison chain gang, chain gang mask, really? Kamen Rider K, my dad, when he was in Malaysia was haunted a little by jasmine smelling ghosts. Oh my God. Hey, Kamen Rider K, are you new to my channel? Welcome. Really, jasmine smelling ghosts. See, in the Western society, in the Western countries, they say when you see a ghost, it actually smells fragrant. Uh, some people say it smells like roses. 
Um, yeah, some people say it smells foul, so I don't know which is the correct answer. Ah. Your Netherlands has marijuana is legal and considered as essential. I like how marijuana is essential though, compared to all these things. Should I hold up an umbrella? It's kind of raining. Crap. Okay, maybe I should hold up an umbrella. Just hold on, you guys. Uh, streaming when it's raining is a little bit hard. And getting groceries. What smart move. The ghost caused his friend to die? So what did it, what did it do? Like, be more explicit. Huh. But I have heard that, you know, some people actually, what do you mean, 中光桃花? So basically, it's like black magic or something. And these people either go crazy or they start doing some really crazy things. Oh no, barbecue pork. Look at all these all these pigs that's hanging up there. Ay, 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 ay. All dead, of course. He was following him all the time. He could see it at every street corner. That's weird. You know, people say, right? You don't have to wait until nighttime to see ghosts. You need to buy one of those big spiky fruits. That smells like poo. Forget the name. It's durian. We were talking about durians. Whew. Yep. Any durian fans out there? I'm not. I've tried it like twice. I still can't love it. I know some people love it. I, I can only say I tried. I tried. I really did. Yep, Sophia, you're late. We started already. Oh, I'm very tempted to, to make vegetable soup with the groceries that I'm getting here. Very tempted. What do you guys think? Should I make some vegetable soup? Oh, I know what that one is. It's a jackfruit. Yeah, it's not really spiky. It's like a long, big fruit. And inside, you take it out by sections. You made it. Woohoo! Maybe I should get some. Hmm. Should I get something for a vegetable soup? What do you guys say? Vegetable soup sounds kind of nice. Okay, let's see what I can get. Damn! The umbrella! Ah! Having to hold away such a big, big umbrella with one hand, it's like Mission Impossible. Okay, there we go. Okay, you guys are gonna go further shopping with me. Just hold up. Uh, sorry about the weird angles today because I'm holding like my groceries and my gimbal and my umbrella. So it's a bit hard to control if you ask me. Um, I actually know that I need some of these. Oh, uh, actually, I need some bell pepper. Let's see if I can get some bell pepper, some tomatoes. Oh. Okay, I think I need 
，呢啲系咪一份一份计噶？哦，我要呢几份啦，唔该。唔该，我想要呢、這个。哦，好啊。All right, so I guess I'll have to help myself. 呢度。嚟嚟嚟，自己執咧，自自己嚟啦，忙到死啊嘛，係啦係啦，我啲嘢忙到死啊，真係唔好啊嘛。仲有呢、這個，誒、呃，仲有番茄啊 ，OK 啊 ，OK 啊，唔該。誒係咁多啦，誒有冇誒鹽西啊？鹽西大把。哦。Okay, this is how you buy parsley. Okay, I think I'll get two things of parsley. Ngai. Jung yao lei ga. Ngai. Sai ya. Ah. Okay, just hold on. Eh, bei zhuang sam sam man nei xin ai dan dan ah. Wow, I love the local um, the markets. It's very lively. La, it out. Okay, thank you. Ah, okay. Ah, eh, sorry. Wow, I'm holding so many groceries, you guys. Crap, 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 crap. Wow, and I still need to get a few more items. Damn. Okay, I got tomatoes. I got onions. I got. I think there's something missing. Bell peppers. I think I need some shrimp. Let's see if I can find any shrimp. Yep. Eh, no. No, are you late on time? No. Wow, you guys, I'm not sure if I can actually hold all of this in one hand. Hi, I'm Guy. Guy, I'll find it. Thank you. Thank you. Guy, Sai. Hold your gin. Wow, you guys. Look at all the stuff that I got. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. And I just need some fish to put in the soup. Hmm, let's see what kind of fish I can get. Okay, you guys just hold on. I can't answer to your stuff right now yet because I'm trying to reach for something. So just. Hold on. Oh, the, the food is always fresh at the market. So at the expense of having to walk through a wet market, which is a, a bit of a bitch sometimes, but that's okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get in a some. Yeah. Hey, Dawa. Got. Wow, you guys, my hands are so full right now. I don't even know how I can carry all this stuff. Crap. Okay, just hold on. Hi, guy. Wow, my left arm must be must be some sort of world class weightlifting champion because. Just hold on. Okay, I gotta sort some of this stuff out. Wow. If it wasn't raining today, it wouldn't be so bad. Huh? 
几多？诶，千九百九十蚊。系啊，而家咩啊？诶，稳、呃、定咯，即系你一路喐佢都唔会震咯，咋？即係我而家一路行，我會等噶嘛，咁捉住佢嚟影就唔會等咯。係啊，九百九十啊，拜拜。哎呀，連把遮都唔記得攞添 ，almost forgot my umbrella。The the fish guy was very interested in my gimbal. He loved the little stalls for groceries. I love it too. But why do I feel like that something is actually missing in my vegetable soup? Okay. Um, I know something's missing, but I just can't point my finger to it. Oh no! But you guys look at all the stuff that I'm holding. It's insane. I think. Oh wow! Pretty hot. That's a hot mom right there. Cat toys. Sorry, guys. Uh, Thirty Hong Kong for the prawns. Yeah. Uh, one buck. What's one buck? Okay, I got some vegetables already. I just can't point my finger to what I need. What else do I need in vegetable soup? Is it celery? I just can't point my finger to it right now. Find out. Chinese cabbage. Chinese cabbage and vegetable soup. That doesn't make sense. Do you think it's actually purple cabbage, or do you think it's celery? Do you guys want to cook with me when I get home, so I can flex my、uh, impeccable? I can flex my impeccable、uh, cooking skills. What do you guys think? I think you guys might appreciate that. For those foodies out there, call my friend to carry it home. I think by the time I call them, I can already carry the shit home.、Uh, let's see if there's anything here that I need.、Um, there's oh, maybe some broccoli. Oh, watercress,、uh, celery. Yeah, I think some celery is nice. Some celery, some broccoli is good. Wait, okay, I'm just tangled up. Dried anchovies. <gasps> Dried anchovies. Yeah. No. Hi and good night. Bok choy, not bok choy is not good for soup. Come on. I probably need some. He's actually selling pea shoots right now. The pea shoots are my absolute favorite vegetable. Okay, I wonder how much is it for some celery and some and some、uh, broccoli. This guy just budged in line, bitch. The fuck. That's what happens when you're in the when you're at the market. People budge. Fuck. Not. 我想要一嚿西蘭花，同埋一個誒西芹。People just kind of yell over you, so you kind of see who he attends to first. 西芹喎，中品嚟㗎。誒都得。有冇話題啊？我幫你嚟
誒、呃、一一扎夠啦，係啦，唔該，幾多錢啊 ？OK， 嗱，唔該 ，That was eight dollars。係，唔該 ，Salary and I got some、uh, broccoli。I think that'll, that'll be a, such a nice attitude to my vegetable soup. Okay, you guys just hold on. Let me sort this out. Okay, good to go. If anything, I think I got all the vegetables I need for the next few days. The white vegetable with a purple band. We call it wombok. Ah, I don't even know what white vegetable with a purple band. Oh, wombok? I've never heard of that. But thank you. Is that is that what language is that? Is that is that Bahasa? Okay. All right. I think I'm going to be flexing my impeccable cooking skills, so I'm just going to catch the bus right now.、Um, so I'll see you guys in about ten minutes, fifteen minutes. I'm going to go home and flex my impeccable cooking skills onto you guys. So come on in if you guys are feeling hungry. If you want to cook my vegetable soup with me, it's going to be totally awesome. See you guys.